Okay, for this project, I'm using a Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable, which is a medium weight, four ply acrylic. And the color I'm using is called Pearly. And there are 270 yards in the skein, and one skein was enough. So that, that's going to work probably 250 yards or something is what it's going to take. And then I'm going to be using an H which is a five millimeter crochet hook. And then you're gonna need a button, one. Um, um, I'm using like a one inch wooden button, but you can use whatever type of button that you have. Now you can make this into a cowl like I did, or you can just keep going with the pattern and make it a big shawl. It's completely up to you. So you wanna start with a slip knot on your hook. And this is a pretty easy pattern once you get started here. And now we're going to start off with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first chain to form a ring. Just like that. Now I'm going to start off with a chain of five. There's one two, three, four, five. Now that chain five counts as a triple crochet and a chain one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a triple crochet three together. So I'm going to yarn over twice, go through the center of the ring, and draw up a loop. And I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. And then I'm going to yarn over and go through the next two loops on my hook. And I'm going to do that three times. So again, I'm going to yarn over twice, go through the center of the ring, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops on my hook, yarn over, go through the next two loops on my hook. One more time. I'm going to yarn over twice, go through the center of the ring, draw up a loop. I'm going to yarn over, go through the first two loops, Yarn over, go through the next two loops. So that's three times. I should have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all four loops on my hook. And then I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do a triple crochet together, three together again. So I'll show you again. You yarn over twice, go through the center of the ring, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. And you want to do that three times. Go through the first two, yarn over to the next two. That's two times. And then again, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the next two. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all four and chain two. Now I want to add a a total of four of these triple crochet threes together with chain twos in between them. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Four loops. Yarn over and go through all four. Chain two and there's three so I need to do it one more time like that four loops go through all four of them now I'm going to chain two, and now I'm going to end by doing one triple crochet through the ring two. So I'm just going to yarn over twice and just do a triple right through the ring, like that. So that's what we have so far. Okay, now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Now that chain five is counts as a triple crochet and 
a chain one and I'm going to turn my work and now I'm going to be working in these chain spaces so I'm going to do a shell with a pico in this very first chain space so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do three double crochets through that space so that's one two and three now I'm going to pico on this one so I'm going to chain three again and I'm going to come back down and slip stitch a lot of people slip stitch right through the top of the stitch I always grab this side loop and the side loop there I think it holds better and go ahead and slip stitch that and that forms a little point now I'm going to do two more double crochets into that same chain space like that so that is the shell with the pico it's, it's five double crochets but the pico is in the third one the middle one and now I'm going to be chaining one in between these so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do the shell pico again into this next chain space so I'm going to go ahead and do my double crochets three of them two three and I'm going to do my pico on the third one chain three come back down and slip stitch right here through the side and that will form the little pico point and then I'm going to do two more doubles in the same spot just like that and now I'm going to chain one now on this next one I'm going to do two of these so it's going to form like the point of the triangle so working in the next space I'm going to go ahead and do my shell, shell pico so here's three doubles do my pico and do my two more doubles all in that space and now I'm going to chain three one two three and I'm going to do this again in that same space another of the shell picos my pico on the third one like that so now you got two picos in that same spot but there's going to be a chain three here now I'm going to chain one after this one and then I'm going to do a pico or a shell pico into this next chain space do my pico on my third one and then do my last two doubles and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do a shell the shell pico right here in this last chain space here I'm just going to go ahead and go into it and do my shell pico chain three on my third one pico and then do two more doubles and then I'm going to do my <coughs> excuse me my chain one after that and now I'm going to do a triple crochet in the fourth stitch of this chain so one two three four I'm going to yarn over twice and triple crochet through it just like that that's what you got so far so now it's really just kind of a repeat of that row now I'm going to chain five again 
and that's a triple and a chain one and I'm going to turn my work and my first shell pico is going to go right here in this first very first chain space so it's a really easy pattern I think and it turns out really pretty Chain three on the third one, Pico, and then do my two more doubles, and then chain one, and shell Pico into the next chain space right here. The yarn is sticking to me. It's so hot in this my office. I, I'm going to chain one and then shell pico into the next chain space. It's so hot in here. I have to turn the air off because um, the camera picks up every little noise. You probably noticed from my kids being loud there in the other room and it picks them up. And if I have the air on, it's real loud. And I'm always sweating in here when I'm doing these tutorials. But this yarn's starting to stick to my fingers for some reason. Okay, now the next space is the one where we put two in it and we have the chain three. And we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to be doing it in the chain three space. Uh, we're going to do the shell with the pico, a chain three, and another shell with a pico right here in this, all in this chain three space. And that's what we're going to do in every one of these chain three, three spaces. It's going to be a shell with a pico, a chain three, and a shell with a pico. And that's just going to make the point of the cowl or the shawl or whatever you decide to make with this. And I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to go back into the same spot. And do another shell with a pico on it. And it's like that, and that formed the point. That's going to gonna give it a nice triangle shape, is this point here. Now I'm going to chain one after that, and I'm going to go to the next chain space and put one of the shells with the pico on it. chain one again and jump to the next space which is right here do another shell with pico <clears throat> like that and then the last one you want to chain one after that. It's going to go right here in this chain space here on the end. It's where we chain in the beginning from the other side. So go ahead and work your shell pico in that last space. Two. Three. Chain three. Pico. And then do two more. One, 
two, and then you want to chain one, and then we're going to triple crochet in the fourth chain of this chain five here. So one, two, three. Sometimes you got to scoot it up here to find it, but triple crochet in that fourth one. Just like that. And then we're just going to keep repeating these rows. And every row, you're going to gain a couple extra shells. It'll be two extra shells on each row. So you just start again with a chain five. Turn. And you work your first shell pico here. Chain one. Work one here in this chain space. Chain one. Work one in this chain space. Chain one. Work one in this chain space. And then when you get up here to the chain three space it's just shell pico chain three shell pico all in the same space and then you just continue back to the, back to the other side and you just keep going back and forth and like i said every round you'll gain two more shells one on each side you want to do this for however many rows you want it big and i'm not quite sure how many i'm going to do so i'm just going to go ahead and pick up and keep going and i'll let you know how many i do here in just one second okay I'm going to show you, I'm just making a cow, so this is as big as I'm going to make it, and if you want to make it like me, um, I'm at row, starting with the very, very first round, I'm at, one, two, thirteen, and I went halfway up to thirteen, and I'm going to make the center point a little bit different. But if you want to make this a shawl or something, you can just keep going in the same manner for as big as you want to make it. But you'll just need more yarn than what I said in the beginning. So, okay, so I'm at, counting from the very first row here where we did the triple crochets together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is my 13th one, and I went halfway up, and I'm to my center. And this is how I'm going to end it. I just chained one after this shell pico. I'm going to go work in here. And I'm going to do a double crochet. Another double crochet. And then I'm going to pico on this one. So one, two, three, and pico. And then I'm going to do a double crochet and another double crochet and I'm going to pico on this one one two three do my pico and then I'm going to do a double crochet and another double crochet and I'm going to pico on this one like that and I'm going to do another double crochet another double crochet and I'm going to pico on this one one two three and pico and I'm going to do that one more time I'm going to do another double crochet and one more double crochet and I'm going to pico on this one and then I'm going to do just one last double crochet so that's what I did at the end there just to finish it off so we didn't have that empty open chain at the end like I said if you want to make a big shawl you can do this at the end of your shawl um, so it was a double and then a double with the pico a double a double with the pico a double, a double with a pico, a double, double with a pico, double, double with a pico, and then a double. So you should have five picos on there like that. And then just plain double crochets at the end, and then plain double crochets without picos in between. Just like that. And now I'm just going to chain one, and I'm going to carry on and finish out my row here. So I'll do my shell pico here in my next chain space and 
just like that. Chain one, and I'm just going to continue the same pattern, putting my shell pico in every chain space until I get back to the top. Okay, I went ahead and ended that row, and I did my triple crochet in the fourth chain of this fourth stitch of this chain. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to clean up the edges all the way with single crochet. So I'm just going to continue where I'm leaving off here. And I'm just going to chain one. And I'm going to work four single crochets in each of these chain spaces all the way down. So I'm just going to go right back through here and right through the space and work four single crochets. And then I'm going to jump to the next space, go right through, and work four single crochets. And then jump to the next one and do the same. Now I'm going to do this all the way down. And you'll be able to kind of straighten them out there too. It just makes the edge look a little bit cleaner. So I'm just going to continue all the way down here, putting four single crochets in every one of these chain spaces. Okay, I went down the side here, the single crochets. And remember, you can kind of just pull them out and get them all nice and straight, and it makes it look a lot cleaner. And when you get to the center here, I'm just going to do three single crochets in the center. So one, two, and three, and then I'm just going to continue doing my four in, in the rest of the chain spaces just like we did to the other side until I get up to the top so like that okay when you make it to the end I just put four single crochets up here in my last one I'm just gonna put a slip stitch in it too just to end it and then I'm gonna tie this yarn off and I'm gonna you can hide any tails that you have but I'm going to sew the button. I'll show you where that's going to be sewn. Yeah, I think that single crochet around that top edge made it look a lot nicer. Um, the button is, you could sew it to either one of these up here. But I'll probably just sew mine. Um, this right up here. Look here. I'm going to sew it right up here along this top edge like that and then this hoop right here is what you'll hook it to. So I'm just going to use a regular, let's see, I'll just use, if I can find anything. My kid comes in here, my little three-year-old, he thinks my desk is the coolest place ever and he comes in here all the time and he takes off with my stuff. My yarn needle and I can never find it. My camera will be missing. My camera stand will be missing. And just everything. He loves mom's desk. It's like the greatest place ever. So if you don't if you want to sew it here to be more secure, but I'm just gonna sew it right here along this outer edge. Let me look here to make sure that's what I want to do. I might change my mind. Now I'm gonna sew it right here onto this last shell right here and I'm just using the same yarn and a yarn needle and I'm just going to sew it on like a regular button so I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I'm going to hide all the tails that I have remaining just like that okay once you get that button sewed on you can just take this and use this right here as a buttonhole and then you got a cute little cowl remember you could have always made this a nice long shawl too that's completely up to you but that's it that's all there is to it it's actually pretty easy um if you make this or anything else i'd really love to see a picture of it you can post a picture on the bag of day on my bag of day crochet facebook page i'll put a link to that below in the description box and don't forget to check out my etsy shop i'll put a link to that below in the description box um that's where you can find all the patterns to all my tutorials or to most of my new ones anyways <laughs> some of them um, I don't have patterns but the ones I do they'll be in my shop and until next time have a good day